So today I'm cooking a wonderful fish pie. Fish pie is such a good one because it's so warming, so comforting, and it's packed full of flavour. This can be made smaller or larger with fish to suit your budget. There are so many variations, but I just know you will love my version. First job of the day is to get down to my local fishmongers and choose some great fish for my fish pie. There's quite a selection and I choose cod, monkfish, smoked haddock and some lovely fresh prawns. Once I've picked up my fish, I'm on my way back home so I can start to put this little beauty together. Back in my kitchen now, I unpack my fish in preparation for gently poaching it. All I do is set up a pan and pour in some whole milk and some double cream and turn on to a medium heat. Whilst that is happening, I prepare my fish, take the skin off where necessary and cut the haddock, cold and monkfish into bite-sized chunks. Now I add my raw fish in simmering milk and cream, hold back the prawns until the fish has been poaching for around a couple of minutes or so and then add in. Your aim here is to really gently poach the fish. Don't cook it for too long, literally three, four minutes will be more than enough. Once that is done, I take the fish out and place it into my fish pie tin. This will quite happily sit there whilst I prepare everything else. Now I peel some spuds for my mashed potato on top. Literally peel and chop up. The smaller the chunks, the quicker it will take to cook. Get my potatoes cooking away in the pan of simmering water and I'll be using the same pan the fish was poached in again. So I set that up on my stove. It's for the fish sauce, so there's no reason to rinse that out. I'm also going to grate some onion and carrot in preparation for the creamy fish sauce. Once the potatoes have been in a couple of minutes, I hard boil some eggs. Drop them in and they'll take around eight minutes. Once time's up and your knife easily passes through the potatoes, drain off along with the eggs and I'll take this opportunity to quickly shell the eggs. Chop them into quarters and set aside. Now I use a potato riser to get a really nice consistency with these potatoes and to avoid the dreaded lumps. I use a couple of egg yolks to enrich it and a bit of butter and seasoning to taste. After mixing through, I decide to add a touch of double cream to loosen it up. Nice, I set this aside for later. Now this creamy fish sauce that goes over the top. Add in the grated carrots and onion, sweat down, not picking up any color, but aiming for the veg to be a bit more translucent. I like to get a bit of seasoning in this early on actually. And then I add the milk and cream back into the pan and simmer down. Now for some background flavor, some English mustard goes in and some lovely nutmeg. Also a good handful of extra mature cheddar cheese. This will reduce down, and once it's the right consistency, some chopped parsley can go in, along with some fresh lemon juice for acidity and freshness. Now, to assemble this little beauty up, eggs go on top of the fish. After cooling a touch, the creamy sauce then goes on top. Before I add my mashed potato, I let the sauce cool down a little bit, and then I spoon on. Smooth over, then I'll use a palette knife to give the fish scale decoration. I clean around the rim of the dish, pop onto a baking tray, and now it's ready for the oven. I'll bake for 20, 30 minutes until the top has some color. You could always stick under the grill if you want a bit more color. There we have a homemade luxury fish pie. There you can see my glorious fish pie. I've used a few different types of fish, uh, which will work really nicely together. You've got that lovely creamy sauce with the parsley and mustard and the lemon juice for acidity. So it's a beautiful pie. I'm gonna now dive in, have a taste. I'm gonna tell you what it's like. Let's grab a plate, dish some of this out, some of this sauce as well. Uh, 
some really lovely flavours going on in there. I think the fish is a nice texture. I think it had a bit of prawn and a bit of monkfish in there. Lovely. Creamy sauce, nicely seasoned. The mustard, I think, is good for a bit of heat. Mashed potato works well. I don't have too much mash. I would recommend that you use some sort of smoked fish. I just feel it gives a really lovely smokiness throughout, not just in the fish, but in the sauce as well. Thank you for watching, fellow foodies. I really appreciate your support and I will catch you in the next one.